MC family. We're pastors Josh. Good morning, MMC family. We're pastors Josh and Jenna Baser, and we serve as the online campus pastors. We are so excited to Devo with you this morning. So many things happen on Thursday during Passion Week. The Last Supper, Peter declaring he would never deny knowing Jesus. Jesus praying in agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. Judas betraying Jesus. You know, Pastor Misty said in Sunday's message that Jesus demonstrated communion through the Last Supper because we are really quick to forget, and it's so true. We forget the little things each day, but we're quick to forget the big things in life as well. God has done so much for me and brought me so far. There's so much I don't want to forget. My Aunt Joyce once encouraged me to get a jar or a vase and for every blessing or every answered prayer to put a marble or a rock in it. And that makes it so easy to see at a glance uh, that God has shown up so many times. You know, over the years, there were times I've written down the prayers in a journal and put a date when those prayers were answered. I look back and things that seemed really big at the time, I just can't even believe I've forgotten them. And growing up when we would take communion, it was always such a serious moment of repentance and dwelling on how Jesus died such a horrible, gruesome death. And he was the ultimate sacrifice for us. And it should be a reverent moment. But the older I get, the more I want to dwell on his return. 1 Corinthians 11:26 says, For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The Greek word for pro proclaim means celebrate. Of course, we need to seek the Lord. We need to let him reveal our shortcomings and be quick to repent. We need to be grateful and so thankful for that sacrifice. But then be filled with joy and celebrate that soon we'll be having the marriage supper of the Lamb with Jesus. And then look around and see who you want to be there with you. You know, following the Last Supper, Jesus and his disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. Jesus went on a little further by himself. And in Matthew 26, 38, Jesus said, My soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Jesus was feeling the pressure of what he was getting ready to face. In the, in the coming hours, he, he knew the torture, the beating, the horrendous death that awaited him. He said a prayer at this moment that was so powerful to me. Jesus prayed in Matthew 26, 39, If it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. In other words, if there is any other possible way, can we do it that way? Is this the only way to rescue humanity? At any moment, through all of this, in the trials, the beating, the crucifixion, Jesus could have called in legions of angels to rescue him. But Jesus said something in this moment of prayer that has always caught my attention. He said, yet, I want your will to be done, not mine. What was Jesus saying in this moment? He was saying, if this is the only way to save them, if this is the only way to bring them back to you, then I'm all in. No matter what it costs, no matter the pain and suffering, they are worth it. You are worth it. I love that I serve a God who is all in for me, that is all in for you. I have to imagine in this moment that people in, in all the world, not even born yet, were racing through the mind of Jesus at this moment, that you and I were on his mind in this moment. He was saying, I will go through all of this because I love you and you are worth the price I will pay to redeem you. Jesus went all in for you at this moment. I love, love, love serving a God who went all in for me. You might be watching and be thinking, man, Jesus is all in for me, but am I really all in for him? You might be someone who attends church regularly and serves. Are you all in? Maybe you stumbled on this post and Jesus is the new thing for you. You can go all in right now and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. Thank you for joining us this morning. Make plans to be with us on campus at MMC this Sunday for Easter at 930 or 11. We can't wait to see who you're going to bring with you. If you can't make the on-campus experience, you can join us online at 9.30 a.m. or at 6 p.m. We can't wait to see you there, MMC family. We hope you have a wonderful Thursday. We love you.